The Tenet Envoy is a rocket launcher that you can get from the Sister of Parvel system. This is a very powerful weapon and you're very likely to have heard about it by the time I'm making this video. And this is gonna be another one of those long videos so make sure to check the timestamps if you're looking for something specific. As I'm gonna try to cover as many or as much things as I can. So let's go. This is a rocket launcher. It fires rocket stars, pretty much homing missiles that you can just make them land where you want by aiming, shoot and aim. They also have a lock-on mechanic if you're aiming at a target and it is a abysmal 4 second reload but the weapon has an innate effect just like the Tenet Diplos of reloading if you holster. I just have to equip another weapon so I can actually holster. Ten oh, it's already reloaded. Take a few shots just to show you. Here, waiting a few seconds. It even made a noise. So yeah, that's how the weapon kind of works. It is a good radio attack. There isn't much fire rate, but with a weapon like this, I don't even think you need that much. Let me show you the first build I've made. By the way, uh, everyone is probably recommending, and I have to also test it, but it's probably probably right to get this weapon with innate toxin. I have this one that I'm gonna fuse later, just to show you how my builds are gonna look like. But mine first came with heat, and this is the build I've made. And why to pick toxin? That is because the weapon has innate code on its explosion. So if you combine the code with toxin, you're gonna be getting innate viral. I got mine with, with heat, because usually run viral and heat or corrosive and heat in my builds. And at the time I got this weapon, I just thought, like, why not? And so this is what the build is look lo looking like. And there are many variations of how to build weapons and pretty much what to use or what you should start with. I'm gonna be using Galvanite mods on my builds and I usually run them because I have them and they are just better versions than the original mods but they are also situational there are some situations that you're not gonna want to use them but for this weapon well i'm gonna be using the galvanized chamber i don't really see uh, a great use for using either galvanized scope or galvanized aptitude because well you're not gonna be landing that many headshots and for galvanized aptitude, you usually you one-shot stuff. If you have to shoot again, then this that this can be useful. But yeah. So serration for our damage, galvanized chamber for the multi shot, point strike, and vital sense for the critical critical chance, critical critical damage or critical uh, multiplier. Hunter munitions because you have a great critical chance of critical multiplier. Malignant force and ram rounds for the viral. And the heat is innate, so I'm using vigilante armaments. You could use something like heavy caliber on the place of vigilante armaments, but um, eh, I usually don't run it on my builds, and so I'm also not running on this one. You could even use something like bladed rounds, but that's totally up to you. If we were talking about making it much better than this, well, we probably would be running with the, with the innate toxin to get our viral gear. That's what I'm gonna do later. I'm gonna fuse this weapon with the, the other one that I got and to show you how the build is gonna look like a, a better version of it. But let me show you what a weapon is, can do with this build. Don't worry if you don't get the, uh, the toxin first. This weapon is gonna, still gonna perform good. 
or well, it's not really that like, oh my god, my world is gonna end. No, the weapon is really, really good. It just works. Getting that hunter munition proc with that viral just, it is just so good. Just delete stuff. Let's see if we can get that. Yeah, once we get the galvanized mod going, the chances of getting the hunter munition procs, and not only that, but the status are, it's just much better. So yeah, I'm actually considering the uh, galvanized aptitude now. Yeah, that's how the Lock mechanic works, I think. <laughs> that is even a thing. So yeah, they're flying off. It's just good. I not gonna not gonna use buffs on this one for now. As I was saying about making this build better, if I had primary merciless all the way up. I would probably not run Serration and instead run a Bane mod to deal with the diminishing returns. If you have no idea what that is, is pretty much that adding so much of one element at some point will give you diminishing returns, meaning that won't be as affecting as mixing many, let's say, different elements but not elements like in elementals like this but elements being damage is one mutish um, not damage critical then your elementals all of those are different elements to use on your weapon and increasing the damage so let's get on to the fusing our weapon UD balance fusion this is gonna be the one Option two, get a toxin. Gonna be up to 46.2% toxin. Let's fuse. All right, our weapon damage increased, so now we can just balance it. Not balance, just change stuff and see how better we can make it. This is not gonna change for now. Uh, I would not run other arcanes. Maybe dexterity if I had it. Um, more levels But I don't think we would get many procs with the dead head. I'm not even gonna try it now I mean, it's not impossible, but I'm not, not gonna try to do that uh, Another great thing that we could use is firestorm or primate firestorm <laughs> I'm usually don't run those on my builds either, but Yeah, I don't even have been a corrupt here with not leveled, so that's gonna be for another time. Let's see what can we add now. Let's go with our aptitude. We already have the um, the viral going on here, and what else can we put here? We could put like hammer shot for to increase the status chance and the critical mode player. That sounds great. And. What else? What else? What else can we put here? Could put Vigilante Armament back, or maybe let's go with the Heavy Caliber just to increase a little bit our damage. Not sure what I could use other than this. I think we already have like a lot of stuff. For the X's, I don't have it open, but it could be one of the or like, actually. Best option, I think it's terminal velocity, just to increase the uh, projectile flight speed, or you could be running supplies and stuff. Could also be good. Let's just see how the weapon's gonna perform now. As you know, no buffs, no nothing else changing the weapon damage, just the weapon as it is. Okay. We are already getting kills with one shot. We have, if we have to repeat our shot, then it seems much deadlier. Sounds good. 
sounds really good. Not sure if we're getting as much benefit from aptitude as we should, but it seems good. Maybe we could try to go with you know blade rounds and when aiming. We don't want to be aiming too much with this, I think. Let's try to get some more kills and stack this thing up. Yeah, with a few shots, we're getting everyone dead. So let's try again. To use it with the stack that we have from Merciless. This is just a weapon that's gonna have no problem. I put the damage. With merciless, rocking merciless because, well, area, area damage is gonna be dealing with a ton of damage and killing a lot of dudes, so no, no trouble whatsoever rocking it. It's just, uh, I'm not a really a fan of having to kill all the time. But yeah, I think the weapon performs great. Uh, Let's try it, Vigilante, just to, just to see. We're gonna have more multi-shot, but I don't know, I don't know. I'm still suspicious with these mods. They were fixed today, actually, on the day I'm recording the video. I was actually at work and I saw that they were fixing it. I'm like, okay, that can be good. Sometimes rocking the hunter munitions can be a pain, but usually, usually you just get it. And we got an orange grip from the Vigilante Armament. That one is dead. <laughs> wow. Pretty much every time you see a uh, <laughs> a bleed proc means that someone's getting killed or pretty close to that. Uh, we could take this off and maybe use the firestorm. I do not have this one fully leveled, but yeah, I'm not gonna show it right now. You can just test it by yourself. But yeah, maybe leaving aptitude here might be a good a good thing to do. So I think it's time to get to the buffs. You've already saw that this weapon is quite powerful. So let's use our Herald. Let's get our gross projection going. Use our Avenger. What other mods do we have for our primary? Uh, headshot, primary weapon, that's not, we're not gonna be rocking that a lot. So I don't think there's anything else that I'm, I have it to add here. And let's get our cat, our trusty crit cat. Really good cat, gonna give us a lot of critical chance. Let's simulate the dude. User Covenant. Oh, the cat already buffed. We're gonna have around three seconds to get our Avenger going and then get the most amount of uh, even less. Three damage. Okay. Now, this is the moment that if we get a, uh, a bleed, you're 100% dead. Yep, wow. Just melted. Melt. Look at that. Oh. That one's not gonna die because of fall off. And the cat is dead, but so are you. Pretty good! Let's see. I don't know, Mirage maybe? Mirage. Pretty much. There is, there isn't what much to say about it. It's it always deal a ton of damage. Oh my God! Look at those lasers! Wow!
Hmm. Some of them didn't die actually. Hmm. Yeah. Depending on hunter munitions, that is good. But it does a ton of damage. Last but not least, mag. Everything pretty much goes amazing with mag, but there are some weapons that like have a insane performance, let's say. Oh. Will this be one or not? Not not looking like much. Yeah, not looking like much for now. Maybe we should have a bit to the oh. Yeah, they're dead. Uh wanna see how much damage the uh, explosion of the bubbles gonna do. Oh. They all died. Let's try one more time. Let's put the bubble. Brief surge. It should be up. Yeah, man. Oh. Okay. That's one thing we can try for itself, it's, it's brief surge. Holy. That pull strength is really crazy. I don't even have the mod for it. Look at that. What? That is crazy. Oh my god. Look at the damage that the bubble absorbed. Wow. That's nice. That's nice, but it required the, uh, the breed surge. Let's try only the breed surge and see how the... Uh, how are the, uh, the procs from it are gonna be jumping. Hmm. Have to proc it first. When we do get the procs, the bleeds. The damage is very interesting on each each jump of the, uh, the effect there. Yeah. If I were to remake the list of breed surge weapons to use with breed surge, this would definitely go on the list. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. So yeah, I think that's about it that I have for the Tenet Envoy. It's a really good weapon, very interesting. Seems like a proper Warframe rocket launcher, something space ninja themed gun. Yeah. I like it. It's it's cool to use, but it's not my favorite. It's not my really my type of gun. But yeah, I, I like that. It's very interesting. Just that's just what I have to say. Nothing much else for me. But it's very popular weapon. Not hard to build. Not that hard to get. Actually, but yeah. To get the full master, you're gonna have to put those five forma, and yeah, that's already gonna make the weapon good. So let me know what you think about this weapon. Are you using it? Are you using toxin as the base element to get that viral, or are you using something else? What are you using different on your builds? Let me know in the comments below. Also, thank you very much for watching. Leave it a like if you enjoyed the video, or if it was helpful to you. For more Rockham content, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!